Since cartoons have been around for a long time, I just thought maybe what you'd like is a whole new cartoon. And this one takes place in Salt Lake County, Utah, or at least that's the main place. The name of the cartoon is called Dottie. It's a it's a teenage girl's cartoon, and it's a little more up to date than it, and it's more like what life is like in the 21st century, unlike Luann, which was in the 20th. And this is the picture of um, all the characters here. You got Dottie, her great aunt Melody, her great uncle Werner, Madison, Nicole, Ariana, Lauren, Justine, Meredith, Phyllis, Melody, Bretta, Adela. Dolores, Lacey, and Amber. These are the characters you'll most uh, often find in the in the story. And then there's a few others. And then they change from book to book, basically, on what grade level they're on. The comic books um, basically start with Dottie in the seventh grade, and they go all the way to the day she graduates from the Alternative Career Education Program in Provo, Utah. In addition to the cartoon. We have a couple of um, dollhouses. This one right here is um, Jaron South Building. This one right here is the is the Beehive House. This one right here is the Cathedral of the Madeline. This one here is the 8th Presbyterian Church. This one here is the Utah State Capitol Letters Building. This one here is St. Mercer's Cathedral. This one here is the 91st Ward Chapel. This one here is Thomas Kern's home. This one right here is um is also Thomas Kern's home but shown in the grass instead. This one is Clark's Planetarium. This one is the Spice Palace. This one is um David Keith Mansion. This one is um Marriott Cyberary. This one is um Vanson Planetarium. This one is um ZCMI Shopping Center. This one is Rio Grande Cafe. This one is um, Salt Lake City Masonic Temple. This one is the Kearns Building. This one is the is the Union Pacific Railroad Company. This one is Bell's Cargo. Yeah, this one's Bell's Cargo. This one is Abravenal Coat Room. This one is um, the Shrine of Baha'u'llah. This one is Alfred McLoon Home. This one is uh, the Shrine of Abdul Baha. This one is the Joanne N. Hunt's Woman Center. And this one is My Stadium. This one is Clift Building. This one this one is another picture of Bell's Cargo. This one is the Delta Center. This one is the is the Shrine of the Bob. This one is another picture of the Vancey Planetarium. This one is Abravenal Coat Room. This one is Akka's Courtyards. And this is all of them together. And that's what we call Main Street Plaza. It's all the famous buildings put together. We also have a few neighborhood toys where a lot of these girls live as, as well. This one is Amber's Neighborhood in Draper, Utah. As you can see, the curve goes 13th Street East. And it goes between Draper Parkway and 124th Avenue South. And it's got a terrace along the hill. This one is Phyllis's Neighborhood here in West Jordan. This is near where we've got a few party places. It's where the, the Jordan branch of the commuter railroad goes by, as you can see the red railroad tracks that go through. This one is Lacey's neighborhood in Riverton, Utah. As you might have noticed, they've got radio towers, they got, yeah, they got canals and such. This one is Dolores's neighborhood here in Fort Union Park, Utah. This high bridge is where Union Park Boulevard kind of merges with I-215. And the, the slanted road, that's Fort Union Boulevard. And over here, it's I-215. The west part is 9th Street East, east part is 13th Street East, and the north part is 66th Avenue South. This one is Adela's neighborhood right here at, at Holiday, somewhat near Holiday Junction. As you can see, the main thoroughfare is Van Winkle Expressway, and then you got 62nd Avenue South going over without interchanging. This is Highland Drive, Vine Street, interchange, split ramp. The large building on the right is Herman's Sports Store, and you know the rest, right there. This one is Meredith's neighborhood, where um, where we got Redwood Road up at the up the far end, and then 
98th at the near end. This is um, where there's a lot of housing here. This is Breda's neighborhood in um, West Valley City. It's pretty noticeable through the through through the shopping center. This is where an old memorial school used to be until it had to be demolished because it was falling apart. This part is 47th Avenue South. This is 40th Street West in West Valley City, Utah. This is Melody's neighborhood in West Valley City, Utah. This is it's on the west side of um, 27th Street West, and you know, and it's at this neighborhood area. This one that goes goes east and west right here at the near end of the photo that's um that's 35th avenue south and at the far end that's 31st avenue south this one is madison's neighborhood it's in the south salt lake neighborhood on the eastern side right here we've got um as you notice it looks a lot like emerson elementary school the road on the right here that's 11th street east on the left that's 10th street east far end that's 13th avenue south Near and that's Harrison Avenue, the which which all the schools refer to as 1370 South. The school looks somewhat neat, if you see what I mean. This one is Justine's neighborhood. As you might notice, it's um it's somewhat near. It's in South Salt Lake on the on the northwest side. The street with all the traffic signals going up. That's a uh, 21st Avenue South. First Street at the far end. That's um 4th Street East. Then the next one here. That's 3rd Street East. And then the one that's near here, that's 2nd Street East, as you could plainly see. Now here's the picture of the, the cartoon characters again, and one thing we probably need to let you know is we're going to make dolls of these um, cartoon characters too. I mean, I already have a few made out of ceramics, have a few made out of cloth, and now I think we should probably be able to make a few out of plastic and see how they look. Now the one thing about this comic is it's not set up to tape refusal, so it looks about as good as it's gonna get because that's my best drawing ability. I can't get it any better than this. It's just the way the situation was made. So if there's one refusal, the whole thing is scrapped for good. It's no good. We have to scrub the whole situation and there'll be no 21st century um, girls comic. There just won't be anything. You won't get answers to anything that you have any concerns. They'll just remain unanswered. I mean, I've already had practice on, on another cartoon, you know, getting a little practice drawing and, you know, this is just the way my drawing developed and, you know, I'm afraid it can't get any better. This is about as good as it's gonna get. I mean, color drawings aren't really all that bad, if you see what I mean. 